Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Xana520, and welcome back to Metroid Prime. In the last episode, we delved deeper into Phazon Mines after collecting almost all of the artifacts and all of the power-ups. I believe we have max missiles right now. So, <clears throat> I did a little looking. And it turns out I've missed several things that are permanently missable. I will be going back later and recording some... Oh. Metroids. We'll be going back later and recording some replay footage. Power's out. The Metroids are free. I will be going back and re-recording some after the fact. Like, I'll come back through my um, game file and record all the things that I permanently missed. However, I believe there is at least one thing that I can scan that is not permanent, that is um, still able to be gotten. Firstly, I need to deal with this plasma pirate. Okay. And as you can see, this door is barred. But the conduit above it seems to be what's powering it. Yeah, security gate bypass unit in case in frigidite shell. Exposure to extreme heat could clear unit and restore function. Just shooting it with some uh, plasma will unlock the door. And within this door, we fight the biggest, baddest space pirate there is. This is the Omega Pirate, the, crown, the most powerful of the elite pirate forces. Omega Pirate can become invisible to normal sight. It is vulnerable when cloaked. As all energy is drawn from defense systems. By exposing itself to Phazon, it can regenerate damaged tissue and organs. Considered the pinnacle of this elite pirate program, this enemy should be handled with extreme caution and maximum fire power. This enemy is the result of Project Helix. It is the crown jewel. Unfortunately for us, he does have one critical weakness that we can exploit at the very beginning. Because like elite pirates, he will... Well, I guess we can't exploit it anymore. But like elite pirates, unless he does his little clap animation, he... <coughs> Excuse me, bug! Unless he does his little clap animation, he essentially will not attack. The other thing we have to worry about is the, um, well, the Phazon in the floor. Which our elite pirate, f or our mega pirate friend here, will utilize to heal himself at certain points. He himself is invulnerable currently. We have to damage his armor first. But he likes to use his uh, hand attack to absorb all of our um, damage. Or all our beam, anyway. The best... Um, oops, I did, a side sh I did a side hop when I didn't want to. The best way to deal with this is probably either the plasma beam or super missiles. However, because super missiles are a beam combo in this game, they... Um, they get absorbed by his hand as well. Also, this right leg is really hard to hit because of... stupid. We'll say that. Also, he likes to do that. Okay, let me get away from him before I get my... Like, I've already lost two... Um, two energy tanks. And almost a third at this point. Okay, there we go. There's one. I believe he'll start summoning enemies at this point. Um, yeah, see, that got absorbed. For whatever reason, the right leg is really hard to hit with super missiles. This is why I was using the plasma beam. But 
the right shoulder, the left shoulder, and the left leg should go down pretty easily to a single super missile. If you can hit it correctly, and he's not doing that! Come on, man. Okay, maybe it's the left leg that's really hard to hit with a super missile. Stop looking at me! Yeah, it's the left leg. The legs are weird. They're really hard to hit. Also that. Okay, <laughs> there we go. And once we do enough damage to him, i.e. break all his... <laughs> what was that missile pattern? He will enter phase two. He will call for reinforcements. He will do that. And he will go invisible. The only way to see him at this point is with the X-ray visor. And he will transport himself to one of the three Phazon spots on the ground after a moment. This is your only time to actually do damage to him. There he is. But while he's doing this, he is also going to be trying to regain his armor. There he is. Four super missiles will take him out on veteran. I think it's like three on normal. Where's he at? Where's he at? Oh, he came back to the same one. No, he didn't. He's over there. There we go. We only need to hit him one more time. But he's probably going to get his armor back before I get a chance to. Yeah, there he goes. And now he's visible again. Er, but I did manage to... Um, oh, hello. I had a power trooper in there. Yeah, he'll summon these troopers. The, the beam troopers. But he'll also kill the troopers. And they like to jump up on the walls. Uh, can I hit his leg? reason it's really hard to hit him. There we go. I'm hitting him. The legs are weird. <laughs> That's just the, the thing of it. The legs are just really weird. And then I can take out his last shoulder blade with super. And I should be able to blast him as soon as he reappears. He's gonna go invisible again. And he's going to summon wave troopers. He's going to summon another power trooper. But I'm just going to sort of jump around the room and avoid it. I'm going to charge up a super missile. And whenever he shows up... Where is he showing? There he is. And boom. That gets us an orange credit. Um, Timber... That's a lot of phase on. But with the death of the Omega Pirate and his subsequent falling on top of us, he infuses our suit with phase on, giving it a nice black and silver finish. Your suit has been infused with pure Phazon. This corruption prevents damage from Phazon radiation. We are now immune to Phazon. Also, we've unlocked the Samus Gallery for reasons. Probably because we're over 90%. But as you can see, we can now stand in Phazon and we do not get hurt. Which means we can now go back and grab the Artifact of Life Giver. But first, we are going to head up here. I believe this area gets filled with, um, actually a new enemy type. Also, I'm an idiot, because I just realized that I forgot to do the thing that I meant to do. Oh, freaking well. We'll come back to that. Anyway, here's our last energy tank. We're just out, out here, in the open. Um, but it is behind this door. 
And this door leads to a big area of Phazon. And brings us out to this location, the Phazon Processing Center. This is where that elevator from earlier leads, the, the one in the maintenance tunnel that goes through that white door. But this area also has, well, new enemies, if I can scan them without them killing themselves. These are very special kinds of Metroids. These are fission Metroids. They split once they've taken damage from enough... Uh, once they've taken enough damage, well, normal damage. Once they've taken enough normal damage, they will split. And the resulting two Metroids will then have a strength against, or in, rather, an invulnerability to every beam sans one. And the color of the Metroid will reveal what kind of... Um, what kind of beam is it is uh, weak to? If it's white, it's weak to uh, ice. If it's red, it's weak to plasma. If it's yellow, it's weak to uh, the regular beam. And if it's purple, it's weak to wave. Also, um, there's a trooper up there who I'm going to blow off his ass. See ya, dude. So, anyway, also, I really like the color scheme of the Phazon suit, let me just say that. But, um, one thing to note about Phazon is that touching Phazon will immediately kill any enemy who touches it. That includes these beam troopers. That's how toxic this stuff is. Anyway, somewhere in this room, I believe it is down here, actually. You can see these uh, squares along the walls. Um, behind one group of these squares, in fact, you can see there's an invisible platform right here. Down here. Here it is. Oh, I guess we weren't full up on missiles. Dropping a power bomb here will reveal the last missile expansion in the game. I think. Unless it goes up to 255. At which point, I'm a liar. <clears throat> but, let's um, hop onto this invisible platform. And... Fall into what? What am I standing on? Oh. Another invisible platform. Anyway. Let's blow this up. Because we now have a small pa uh, trek back up for us. Unless we simply want to backtrack to there. Hmm. We now have ourselves a small conundrum. Actually, you know what? Let's go back. Because I think it's faster going this way. I believe, now that we've left the room and allowed it to respawn, this room is now full of fission metroids. They all hover around, yep, the little phase on spots. So, I'm just going to hop down here, open this door, and squeeze through. Because I don't want to deal with it. I believe this room might also be full of metroids. Yes, it is also full of metroids. Regular Metroids, but Metroids. Come down here. These guys are not instant death to phase on. I think it has something to do with the, um... Oh, right. Hold on. I think it has... Dang it. I think it has something to do with the fact that they're unstable. Please drop me a power bomb. I might be full on power bombs, but I really would like a power bomb drop. That's a missile. Bruh. Metroids aren't nearly as damaging as they were in some other games. 
Probably something to do with the phase on. More missiles. I really need a power bomb drop for a reason. I'll explain in a bit. Because as it turns out, I never scanned power bombs. Oh, we've got phase on Metroids. Come on down. Touch the phase on. Butthole. Get off of me. You drop nothing. Oh, okay. Let's just get out of here. This room now also is full of uh, fission metroids. But we can take the easy way across the bottom to get out. Maybe it's just that one room. Stop following me. Stop. Let me out. Okay. Here is our tunnel. We would have died had we um, tried to get through here without the phase on suit. So this is really one of the few reasons why we need the phase on suit in the first place. To get the artifact of newborn all the way at the end of this rock filled tunnel. The last of 12. We can now go to the impact site. and finish the game. Again, though, I've kind of... Excuse me. I've kind of screwed something up because I'm not going to be get... Bruh! Get out of here. Both of you. Oh, I killed another one. Did it drop a... No, it didn't. Dang it. I'm going to have to find an enemy. Okay, so there are a number of things that I forgot to scan. I did mention this earlier. Oh, wait. Oh, it drops some missiles. Nom. Uh, there are a number of things I forgot to scan. One of them is of missile, the missile, ex uh, not the missile expansion, but the, uh, the power bomb pickup. I never scanned the power bomb pickup the way I did some of the other uh, pickups, like the energy, the uh, power ups. I did not pick up. What am I saying? I'm, I'm gibbering now. I need to scan the power bomb because I did not uh, scan it the way I did, like energy and missiles. So I'm hoping for a power bomb pickup from one of these stupid creatures. Please, give me power bomb. Stop giving me. Oh, hello. Stop giving me health. Stop giving me missiles. I don't think I can actually double jump over there or, like. I can't stand in the phase on and uh, jump up to that platform, so I have to take the long way. Maybe one of you guys will drop me a power bomb. Come on. Nope, that's missiles. How about this box crap? Nope, that's just more missiles. The hunt for the power bomb drop. <clears throat> Maybe it's because I am full on power bombs. I am not full on power bombs, what I'm saying. There's one. Power bomb ammunition supplies one power bomb. The reason why I did not think of all these really weird, obscure scans is because it's been a long time since I've actually had to scan anything. Okay, let me let me show off this guy. When he's when he takes enough damage, he splits in two. The one on the left here is weak to pla uh, wave, and the one on the right is weak to ice. Any other attack will bounce off of it, 
and not do any damage. But a single charge shot should take it out if it's ice or plasma. But they, they're real unstable. Yeah. Anyway, that's the last time I'm going to show that guy off because I hate fighting Fission Metroids. Fission Metroids are the worst because of their aforementioned splitting ability. Anyway. What? Pickups, Al. Excuse you. 96% of acquired items. Come to think of it, I bet the max is 250. Yeah, come down here and kill yourself in the phase line because I don't want to deal with humans. Where's that stupid turret? Thank you. There it is. I think this is one of those Mark Threes. There. Anyway. Wow, I'm irritable right now. Might be because I'm hungry. Um. Anyway. <clears throat> Let's see. Probably should head up to this elevator. I believe this elevator actually leads out to Magma Caverns. That's the only uh, path we haven't taken yet that isn't... or that is somewhat required. I believe there's also a power-up at the top of this room. I'm coming up on low... I'm coming up low on time. I'm coming up on the time, so I should probably figure out a place to stop. Because we fought the Omega Pirate, and we got the Artifact of Life Giver, which is the last one we needed. Fall into the phase on. You two, get out of here. I believe there is another thing at the top of this room. There might be another power up, I'm not sure. Let me check. If there is a 240th missile pack that I pick up, why, why am I coming over here? There's nothing over here. Ow. What the heck? Hold up. How are you alive? Now you're dead. Stupid. Okay, here. There's definitely something up top. Come on, let me through. There's definitely something up here. So there must be 250 f missiles. Or 255. Let's see, I need this one. No, I don't. Jump up here. Jump up here. Are there invisible platforms? No, not yet. There is, however, this. There's also another turret. Ow. Get out of here. Alright, is... No, there's not platforms that are invisible. I just need to jump up here. No, there's no invisible. Maybe 235 is it. Maybe 235 is it. I will have to check. But anyway, we can come through here. You're supposed to swing through here, but I can just walk on the stupidness. And scanning this will take us to Magmar Cavern South. I can't think of what else I might be missing. 
Also, this is at the other end of that, uh, this tunnel with the debris in it and all the zoomers. That's what's over here. Hello. And, uh, yeah, now this is clear. We can come through here. Cool. There's a zoomer over there, but I don't really care. So I'm going to head back in the... If I can talk, I'm going to head back down into phase on mines. I'll probably find a place to save. Because I have some stuff that I need to look for. Like where I'm missing something. Because I looked at the scans. And I know which scans I'm missing. And unfortunately, outside of a handful of them, there's not a whole lot I can do about the missing scans. Because they're actually permanently missable. Like, one of them is in uh, the first major boss fight. Let me just hop down here. Pop this door open. And roll through here. Also, this is what was protect preventing us from going any further. There is a big ol' blockage right there. Made of Bendesium. And now we're behind Elite Control. Where is a save room? There is a save room. But it's out the top. So unfortunately, I need to climb. Hello! No. Oh, oh there's another one. Hello. Goodbye. Alright, let's try to avoid triggering any more of those guys. I'm not going to be able to avoid triggering any more of those guys, because there's one right up here. Actually, there's two of them right there. Yeah, this guy. Hop! We're good. Just need to get out of here. This is going to be wave pirates. Yep. You are dead. Not a big surprise. There's a wave pirate way up there. For reasons I can't understand. There's the ice door to the map room. And then just need to drop down. Oh, that's the dynamo. Crap. Alright, let's hop over here. That guy is in the way, so I'm going to blow him up. And then switch back to ice, and drop through the hole. See ya! I am going to have to deal with the ice troopers at some point, though. But, for right now, through this door. And we're at a safe space. Save station. I am going to actually call this one a little bit early because I need to go back and look at what I am possibly missing because I have almost 100%, but not quite. So this is Xana520 signing out.